in their positions at the moment, and it weakens us. And it shows, but we, doesn't it? Yeah, when you go through this team, I mean, fair enough, we've not got a proper left back, but Colwell's doing a good job. We've got brilliant, mid, brilliant midfielders. We've got great centre-halves. Uh, the goalkeeper's doing really well. Uh, I think the only problem we've got is scoring goals. That's about it. You don't think but it's, that it's be... pretty important. It's pretty important, though, Roger. It's pretty important. Yeah. Now, do you don't think that will be remedied with more consistency and continuity from Jackson and then Nkunku? Or no? Yeah. See, they're 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 starting to get playing together a lot. What what annoys me is we keep on getting more and more injuries that keeps us bedlam all the time. You know, if we had a settled team all the time, same with Jackson. I think Jackson was really starting to cook and then he's got this suspension and it doesn't help. And then Gusto, we had Gusto, although you're saying he wasn't that great and stuff like that, he was consistently playing and then he's got a three-match ban. And it's a bit of a stinger, to be honest, because it wasn't that bad a tackle to end up getting a free match ban. No. If he would have got if, if he would have got two yellows, would that be a one match ban? I think so. Yeah, but three match ban, that's horrendous because we we never had another right back. But I think I think Kukare has did okay. So right, let's talk. Let's talk about the next game. All all going well. Do you think oh, Kukare God. stays in the team, or do you think Gusto comes back in? Probably Kukarella. Because Kukarella going forward is, uh, I'm sorry, um, Gusto going forward is inept. Yeah, I was disappointed it, how it's, bad it's his crossing was and stuff. Oh, yeah, I, I wouldn't even call them crosses. That's an insult to crosses. <laughs> it was bad, seriously, Mitchy. It was pathetic. But but remember, at the start of the season, we we're saying that Gusto was really good one on one. Yeah, whereas, no, no, yeah. whereas you know, Kukarea gets walked by. So you, you defensive know, you know, wise, that's what I worry about. You, you know what though? Um, it could, it could be the fact that he's only played a few games in that position. So who knows? You know, but but. It's it's not good. If you watch his crosses, they are. Yeah, I, would... I don't know. <laughs> no, so I don't think the centre halves get changed. I don't think the left back gets changed. So midfield, you can't really well, change think, that I much. Think one may it's change. Enzo, think... It's got to be Enzo Casado. The thing is, who's that oh, yeah. other one? At the moment, it's Gallagher. So I don't think you can change that. So the only thing you can change would be the front three. You've got so, Jackson, so Sterling, have, so what happens to and Lavia? Palmer. Sorry? What about Lavia then? Oh, I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know, I even know how good the boy is, to be honest. I, I, yeah, everybody's 19, told me. Right? Yeah. yeah, everybody's told me he's a fantastic player, but who does he get in front of for a start? Did you think um, he he will be Enzo's? He he can replace Enzo and um, Casado. You know, alternate replacing them. It's a hard one. <clears throat> the thing is, he might be the one that replaces Gallica. That's yeah. probably who who is meant to replace. Yeah, probably. But the fact that he's been given the captain's armband, I never saw this coming. No. I really didn't. No. Um, so, so that, that this shows me that the coaching staff slash Pochettino really thinks of him highly. You don't just give someone the, the, the armband without them being good. But so the thing is, he, he's, getting, he's getting bedded into the team. Yeah, and he's. I, I think he's playing really and, well, and as a captain as well. Yeah, not just not just as a player. And he's 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 become a vital part of the team. I, I didn't he's, see this happening this year. Did you? No, no. I, no. I thought he'd get sold. I really yeah, thought he'd get sold. Yeah, did and so. then then I thought he'll not get a game. Yeah, I, I thought he was on his way out, especially but, since but, we lost Kai, etc. And Mount, I thought there's no way he stays. But then, then his performances got better and better 
And yeah, bit of... because they're warranted. The reason why he's been playing more is because, yes, I understand there's been injuries. Don't get me wrong, like Nkuku and Chukwameka. But it's the way he's played. It's the way he receives the ball. It's the way he turns with the ball, with both feet, mind you, not just the right foot. He's a complete... I don't even recognise him from last year, Mitchy. He looks a completely no. different player, technically, I'm talking about. And plus, yeah, he's got uh, muscle mass, too. He looks stronger and bigger and faster. Oh, he's ripped. i ripped. I've I seen a picture of him at the start of the season, and... His he's legs, Roger-esque, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah his his legs, his his legs are like <laughs> you know, I'm joking, like right? a bodybuilder's legs. But that isn't a bodybuilder muscle. That's all power and endurance oh, yeah. and stamina, acceleration. You know? Yeah, you know yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. very Roger-esque. Have... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can, <laughs> you can go for ninety minutes as well uh, yeah. talking. And then I wake up. <laughs> so, okay. No, but seriously. No, but... I, I yeah. would say that I would say Gallagher, compared to last year, even more so than Sterling and anyone else, is a more markedly improved player that I recognise. Oh, is that the penalty? No, it's in the second half. The penalty. Oh, I'm in the second half. Oh, I beg. That is very close to being right on the edge of the box. But if you look oh, at the slow mo, that actually... looks like a dive. Looks like a dive. No, watch it. Watch the replay. No, he catches him, but it looks like a dive as well. well. It's because he's moving so fast. Yeah, looks like the old uh, Sterling one two one two. <laughs> but look, look at his acceleration. It's like Mudrick esque, if you know what I mean. He, he never had that last season. That's the no, difference. Poch- not even- Pochettino gets some fit. Yeah, telling you, people yeah, yeah, bitching no, like- about his training methods. Remember a few weeks ago when we were losing? Oh, oh he's better. The what players that? didn't like it. He's overtraining them. Oh, that's nonsense. What is it when you run so much and you have 15 seconds break, then you run a little bit longer by a certain percentage? and then Gaikin you, you, test. Yes, yeah, something like that. Gaikin test or something. I can't recall no. what it is. But that's a known successful methodology. And he's implemented it. And we're seeing the benefits of that. You look at Sterling. He, I'm sorry. He's He was a shadow of himself last year. He was never sure. this. He was never this fast in acceleration. Mitchie. It shows never. you if we'd have, if we'd have got the really mammoth fit, he could have been good as well. <laughs> that is, you can't be mentioning that guy's name. <laughs> you just can't. I've you not got the picture it. anymore. Right, I've just seen this young boy really? score a goal. How much pressure to put on a young boy? He's never that, scored a goal in the Premier League. I know. That's. I'm so glad he. T- I actually thought Jackson was going to take it, but I just wanted to say something. When you were t- saying the woolly mammoth, just before you said it, I was putting a bottle of water to my mouth. Had you been another second later, I would have uh, freaking spat it out. That's funny. Uh, it's not worse. The worst is if you're having coffee and you do that. You spray coffee everywhere. It's a good penalty. Do you not get uh, a bit no. of Kai Havertz vibes for this Palmer boy? Ooh. He actually but is reminiscent, isn't he? He's very like him, but he's yeah, just... Yeah, stylistically. He's just better. Yeah. But actually, okay, I, I, I'm going to say something, so don't don't castrate me for it, but I really yeah. liked Kai. So did I. I just I, don't think he, met, he had reached... He his, never, ever did. He never reached his potential. I think yeah. that's what you're going to say. Yeah, yeah exactly. Tap in. I always <laughs> expected more. Yeah. Like like how he plays for Germany. If you notice how he plays for Germany, he's much better. Yes, it's a different kind of football, but you get my meaning. Yeah. But I, I always thought that Kai had a different gear to go up to next. I still think before his career is finished that he, he will be a, a better player. I just hope it's not for Arsenal. You've got to remember, right, he had that five-game patch where there was games where he was sensational. He was man of the match in some games and stuff like that. Yeah. No, he could he could be good, but then other games he was just off it. He he, uh, he went missing, didn't he? For all intents and purposes. And and, and if, I've not really watched him play much at Arsenal, but I think he's struggling at Arsenal. Yes, I've I've seen a, I've seen a couple of games, but not in in its entirety. Uh, and every time I've watched him play, he. He hasn't looked good, Mitchie. He really hasn't. No. 
Whereas and, and, and I watched I, I, J five also. Did you see the last game he gave away? No, I've no, I've not seen oh. him kick a ball. I've not really seen Kai play either. It's uh, it's hard because the J5 people that talk about him are the people that hate Kai in the first place. See, so they're I never going to. Yeah, I like Kai a lot. I just wish he had. I didn't want to see. I've him just not got the time. I've just not got the time to watch Arsenal games. You know, it's like yeah. I, I try and watch the Chelsea games. Yeah, two, talk. three, four, five times. Especially when uh, people have got agendas on players, I like to watch it and see what they're talking about. Uh, so, so, are you excited for the season, upcoming season? Or are yeah, you nervous? Yeah. Yeah, no, no, I'm excited, Roger. Yeah. What Good. got me down the last week or so was it's the agendas on players, the agendas on Pochettino. We're here to support a team. It's our yeah. enjoyment. It's, it's it's a big part of our lives. Why are we all so doom and gloom? It's so depressing. It's so it, grey. It's, object, it's right? horrible. What is the point? What is the what? point? I don't get it. So, so, but pe- I don't, people addicted to bitching all the time. What is it? I don't get it. Apparently, do you know what it is? It's, listen, I, I know you're younger than I am, but it's to be honest with you, it's I think it's a generational <laughs> thing. Social media. I'm, I don't pay attention to it, Mitchy. I'm serious. Like, you, you, if you speak to Bobby, we're pretty much on the same page. I don't go by what other people say on... I've, I've, stopped wa- I've stopped watching certain channels. I've stopped interacting with se- certain people. Yeah. I've stopped... Like, see if some... See if I see anything on Twitter, for instance, and they're just... You can see the agenda. I just block them yeah. so that I don't see Waffle for that person again. That's how I'm dealing with it. And I've sort of recovered over the last week. But see, a week a week ago, bad? I didn't know what I didn't know what to stream. I've I've cancelled three or four of my last streams. I'm so sorry, old Bean. So so the only two streams that I actually watch and and listen slash listen and partake in is yours and coaches. That's all. Because do you know why? Because it's substantive. It's humorous. It's insightful. And for the most part, there's no hidden agendas. Yeah. And it, what it, I did it, was I, I was listening to my I was listening to my old streams and you were on and we're having a laugh I'm and we're sorry. talking. <laughs> and it's it, it's good. And we're just talking about Chelsea. It's nice yeah. and positive. We're having it's, a bit of humor in there, like you said, a bit of a laugh, and just talking about football. And it's yeah, like fine. we're in a pub, right? But that is pulls away for some of these other channels. And which if you watch, which I don't, yeah. I don't listen to or watch because I, I've done it a few times, and I'm like, I come away with it like, well, I just wasted an hour of my life that I'm never going to get back again. Didn't get me wrong. Now and again, something will break out that's actually entertaining. But no, to I get, get to that yeah. five minutes, you've got to listen to a lot of dross and a lot of negative people. Yeah. There's people who come on every time, and it's all negative. Like if you listen, and I don't think they realise how negative they are. I don't well, think I th- they realise it. No, I think they do actually. I'd be shocked if they. I, well, m- maybe I'm wrong, but I think they they have an inclination at least. Yeah, like, it's, you, it, it's like the people on your shows, everyone that calls in, they're great. The people on coaches' shows, they're great. You know, they're. they're I don't agree with everyone, but do you know what though? They're insightful they and and or humorous and or, or or bring a different perspective see everybody's allowed their point of view but sometimes i don't want to hear point of views if you know what i mean yeah. because it, it, it's the same thing all the time it's like same player they're talking about it's either the manager it's the same player all the time and it's like boring Every so time they, they open their mouth, it's the same thing. So and there's a senator, he's deceased now, called Daniel Patrick Moynihan from New York, I think. Um, and he was famous for this one quote. Everyone's entitled to their own opinion, but not their own facts. <laughs> exactly. And that's the thing. Like you're saying, though, it's like we're, you're talking about – I was wondering why all the prop was coming for Broja, for instance, like, because I watched the game and you know he got that that goal was just a fluke he got and and he right. had the chance where he ballooned it over the bar so there was yeah. all this oh we need to start Broja we need to start Broja and my it's practical 
my, my, my practicality mind is saying the guy's just back for a serious injury. He's just played like a half. And you know what it's like after you've came back for serious injury and you f- play your first game. You're going to be knackered. You're going to be fatigued. Oh, yeah. Your so, muscles are going to be sore than hell. Yeah. Like, so I was like, why, skiing for why like would they start years. him again when he's had Jackson who couldn't they play, so totally rested? I thought it made common sense for, you know, you play Jackson, you maybe bring Brogia on for 20 minutes. Yeah, but no, I start, get it. He started Brogia. I'm like, what? But actually, I, I do I, have a problem with that, though. To be honest with you, no, I've not got a problem it. with it. I'm just saying, common yeah, sense yeah. wise, why? Why well, you I, do you do that? I, yeah, I, I expected Jackson to start, to be honest with you. I agree with you. I didn't see Broya starting. I was pleased to see him when, on the on the team sheet, you know, um, about 2.15. But, but I know what you're saying. And Twitter was in fire about Sterling starting and Mujic not starting. Yeah, and I, I don't that. think I don't think Mujic was fit because he came on for a couple of minutes. Sure, and Sterling's been well, rested. He he had a cold or something like that. So he yeah, he had a virus. Cold. Yeah, and to he be died, honest with you, I I think had Sterling played <laughs> as poorly as he played the previous game that he started, I think Mudrich would have been on at half time or the 60th minute, whatever. But it's because Sterling was outstanding. He was the catalyst for Chelsea in three out of the four games. And I think that's why Mudrich didn't get much playing time. And and I think, listen, if you're the manager and you're watching Sterling play this well, there's... Well, I've just injury. seen Sterling burst there, right? He just he was involved in that move where uh, Enzo passed the ball back to the goalkeeper. You know that one touch move? It was brilliant. That came for Sterling, and Enzo just passed it back to the goalkeeper. You you described that. It is a, just a pass back to the goalkeeper. It's terrible. He's it's, obviously it's, trying to place it wide, him, and he's played yeah. it straight well, back. On the but then seconds later, Sterling runs over and tackles a guy and wins the ball. Yeah. Now, Sterling, Sterling wouldn't have did that last season. Not a chance. Are you kidding me? Not in the Not a chance. Dreams. Yeah, he sprinted and, and, over to make a challenge on the guy, and he won. He won the ball. L- that, listen, so, so he's got a bee in his bonnet, Mitchy. He, he's he's a different. He was person. on fire, wasn't he? He was on fire. It, it's like his life depended on it. It's like he received a letter saying, "There's a gun at your children's head. If you don't play this well, <laughs> you know." Obviously, I'm being facetious, but it looked as if he was playing like his life depended do, on do, it. Do, do you think Pochettino said to him, "Look, if you want this position, these guys are playing really well. You need to play." It, maybe he's been motivated by the manager, or he, do you he, think he's self motivated because uh, he knows he's he's got a chance he'll not be in the team? Or, maybe or the he England was dropped. Team. Maybe no, I maybe that that that's a good point. But maybe oh, the last game, although he had a cold or something, maybe he was dropped. Yeah, but he he was the last couple of starts. He's been quite poor. It was like three starts ago. He was amazing, and then the next two starts that he made, he was average, if not poor. And I was complaining to Pot to Potch, I mean to to coach that he he's yet again inconsistent, and I was getting fed up with him. And all of a sudden. Burnley 